party, Mickey Rooney was always falling in love. Esther Williams played his love interest in her first film. A fashion model and champion swimmer, Esther was working in an aqua cave when she caught the attention of an MGM talent scout. In the 22 films she made at Metro, she was seldom out of the water. This is MGM's famous saucer tank. I did many of my underwater scenes here. It's a huge all steel swimming pool with porthole windows just below the water line so that you can see anything that's going on inside. This tank was originally built as a place for Tarzan, Johnny Weissmuller, to fight his rubber crocodiles. But I really had it pretty much to myself once my swimming musicals became popular. Every time they start off with a wall of ballet, there's the customary swimming pool to swim in. But we don't want to do it in the customary way, so we start off just with bathing suits and women. It had been five years since my Andy Hardy movie. By this time, I had starred in several films, and MGM was committed to finding new ways to get me out of my clothes and into the pool, as in this time for keeps with the great Jimmy Durante. Take 10% off for your agent. Take 10% off for the press. Then take another 10 for your publicity men. What's another 10 more or less? Then take off a few incidents. It's the little thing that really counts. Anyone would have a brink and show a capital gain. If you take off the proper, listen to your papa. Take off the proper amount. called America's Mermaid because it appeared that I could stay underwater indefinitely. In Jupiter's Darling, I swam into a sunken Roman amphitheater where my presence had the magical effect of bringing statues to life. Dangerous when wet, I swam into a cartoon sequence where I met Tom and Jerry. You know, they were more animated than some of my leading men. In Texas Carnival, I became Howard Keel's underwater dream, right there in his own living room.
For 12 years, I was the center of an amazing series of vivid sights and water pageantry. And I loved every minute of it.